So today in this lecture we are going to discuss the effect of metabolism and the effect of changes in oxygen availability on the acute control of blood flow. Basically we have started the local and humoral control of blood flow by the tissue and we have discussed that different tissues in the human body control their own blood flow through different mechanisms and although the heart is pumping the blood equally but different tissues in the human body they receive the different amount of blood and that amount basically changes according to the circumstances then we discussed that there are basically two main mechanisms for the control of blood flow to the tissues or there are two basic mechanisms which the tissues themselves use to control their own blood flow one was basically the acute control and the second was the long term control and these both examples are basically related to the local control of blood flow that are used locally at the level of the tissues so we discussed that at the tissue at the tissue level in the acute control the acute control is basically rapid control which occurs in seconds or minutes and it basically occurs due to the increase or decrease in the size of the existing blood vessels and then we discussed that the long term control in the blood uh, of the blood flow basically occurs due to the increase or decrease in sizes and number the the quantity the amount of blood vessels the number of blood vessels basically increase with the passage of time and it takes a, a longer time so it's a long term control then we discussed that the they are the the acute control the acute control the changes that occur rapidly in the blood flow to the tissues they are basically due to two main uh, mechanisms and the one the one is the effect of metabolism and the second is the effect of changes in oxygen availability so if the oxygen if the, the metabolism of the tissue increase or decrease it is going to change the amount of blood that is flowing to that tissue suppose for example we have a muscle over here and the activity or the metabolism of this muscle basically increases about 8 times then the blood flow to this muscle will increase around 8 times this is just as an example we see here that the blood flow the metabolism the metabolism has increased around 8 times so the blood flow has increased very much acutely about eight times uh, four times increase in metabolism up to eight times increase the blood flow acutely acutely is very important because we are discussing the acute control and this control is basically being uh, used by the tissue itself and we are considering a muscle here so the metabolism of the muscle has increased because someone has started exercising or someone has started lifting weights due to which the met metabolism of the muscle has increased when the metabolism has increased around 8 times the blood flow has increased around 4 times so 8 time increase in metabolism has led to a 4 time increase in blood flow that is the effect of metabolism and that is one way in which the acute control or the changes in the blood flow occurs rapidly at the level of the tissue or that is one way by which the the muscle or the tissue itself is controlling its blood flow acutely the second mechanism by which changes in the blood flow occurs acutely is the effect of changes in the availability of oxygen availability of oxygen on the acute local blood flow suppose for, suppose for example we have a muscle over here and the amount of oxygen reaching this blood uh, this muscle it has decreased whenever the availability of oxygen decreases blood flow increases so the 
the oxygen the oxygen which is very much important for metabolism it has decreased when it decreases the amount of blood flow to this tissue will increase so is the increase the increase in metabolism led to increase in blood flow similarly a decrease in oxygen availability leads to increase in blood flow the purpose of both the mechanisms is to compensate for the increased demand or to compensate for the decreased uh, availability of the oxygen now the factors which can decrease the saturation of the oxygen are oxygen availability decrease at high altitude high altitude is one factor which can decrease the saturation here the saturation of the blood has decreased from 100% to 25% and the blood flow has increased around 3 times 3 times saturation has decreased to around from 100% to 25% here we have the saturation we have we have blood flow now one factor which will decrease the saturation or the amount of oxygen that reaches the muscle or any tissue is high altitude when someone is on the top of a mountain the amount of oxygen saturation it automatically decreases because of the high altitude another factor may be pneumonia it is another example when there is infection of the lungs then the proper oxygenation proper ex- oxygenation of the hemoglobin cannot occur due to the infection or the in the lungs that will lead to decrease saturation and it will lead to increase blood flow another factor is carbon monoxide poisoning carbon monoxide basically decrease the availability it decreases the capacity of the hemoglobin to take the iron so carbon monoxide will decrease the saturation and it will lead to increase in blood flow another very much important factor which will decrease the saturation of oxygen is cyanide poisoning now the cyanide poisoning is not decreasing the satur- uh, the availability uh, the the capacity of the hemoglobin rather it is decreasing the capacity of the muscle itself to utilize oxygen oxygen can come here but due to the cyanide poisoning the muscle cannot utilize oxygen so that's also uh, uh, one way in which the saturation of the oxygen decreases and it will also leads to it will also lead to increase in blood flow it can even increase blood flow up to 7 times up to seven times or more similarly blood flow increases enough to make up for the decreased oxygen so the purpose here the purpose of the increased blood flow is to make up to compensate the decreased saturation because 25 normally 100% oxygen was coming so the blood flow was low when the 25% saturation is coming the blood flow has increased so that multiple times blood can come and that less saturated blood can come again and again and it can make up it can make up for the low oxygen so that's all about the effect of metabolism and the effect of oxygen availability on the acute control of blood flow so tissues basically control their own blood flow the two main mechanisms are acute control and long term control the acute control basically is maybe uh, mostly due to the effect of metabolism increase in metabolism leads to increase in blood flow to the tissue and the uh, the decrease in oxygen availability decrease in saturation uh, which may be due to high altitude pneumonia carbon monoxide poisoning or cyanide poisoning it will also increase the blood flow to the tissue and the blood flow increases to make up for the decreased saturation of the oxygen so that's all about the effect of metabolism and the effect of changes in oxygen availability on the acute control of a blood flow 
in the next lecture we will discuss the different uh, types of theories which try to explain the effect of metabolism that leads to increased blood flow or the effect of oxygen availability that leads to increase or decrease uh, blood flow thanks a lot for watching the video